hi. So we're playing Counter Strike 2 and wondering how do I actually see my FPS in game? It's a simple thing, but knowing your frame rate is super important, especially in a competitive game like CS2 where every millisecond matters. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to display your FPS in CS2, explain what the numbers actually mean, and give you a bunch of bonus commands to help you monitor performance like a pro. First off, if you're coming from CSGO, you probably used net underscore graph one to show a whole bunch of stats, FPS, ping, packet loss, and more. That was the go to command for years, but CS2 has changed things. Since it runs on the new Source 2 engine, some of the classic commands either no longer work or have been replaced by new ones. So if you tried net underscore graph one and it didn't do anything, don't worry, that's not a bug, it's just different now. So let's get right into it. The fastest and most reliable way to show your FPS in CS2 is by enabling the developer console first. If you haven't done that yet, it means you've not watched our other videos, but we can do it now. Here's how. Open CS2, go to settings, and then navigate to the game tab. Look for enable developer console and turn it on. You only have to do this once. Once that's enabled, press the tilde key on your keyboard. It's that little squiggly line under your escape key to open the console. From here, type the following command. CL underscore show FPS space one. Remember this for later. One always means yes and zero always means no. Hit enter and boom. Your FPS counters appears on the top right of the corner of your screen. You can now see your frame rate live while you play. If at any point you want to turn it off, just type CL underscore show FPS space zero because zero means no. Now let's go a little deeper. What does FPS actually mean? Well, it stands for frames per second and that's a measure of how many images your computer can render every second. So you know those flip books where you have an image on each paper and then you flip through it like old animations? Actually video still works the same. It's more images images every second. The higher your FPS, the smoother your gameplay. Competitive players usually aim for 144 or higher, especially if they're using a high refresh rate monitor like 144 hertz or even 240 hertz. Even beyond matching your monitor's refresh rate, Having a high FPS, like 200, 300 or more, can reduce input delay and improve frame pacing, making aiming and reaction feel more fluid. Now here's the thing. In CS2, FPS can be more volatile than in CSGO. The Source 2 engine uses more advanced lighting and physics, which can put more strain on your system. You may notice that your FPS drops a little tiny bit when someone throws a utility or when you step into a fountain on a certain map. So even if you had stable 300 in CSGO, you might see more variations now. That's why tracking FPS is more important than ever. You might be wondering, isn't there a way to show more detailed stats like ping, network stability? The answer is yes, but not with netgraph. That command doesn't work in CS2 as of now. Valve might bring it back later or replace it with a new version, but for now we're limited to basic options. Unless you go into external tools like MSI Afterburner or Nvidia's built-in overlay. That said, there are still a few extra launch options and console commands that can help you monitor and improve performance. Let's talk about launch options. To help control how the game runs, to add them, go to your Steam library, right-click CS2, and choose Properties and find the Launch Options field. One popular command is plus FPS underscore max space zero. This tells CS2 to remove any FPS gap and let your hardware run the game as fast as it can. If you're noticing screen tearing, you might want to limit it with something like plus FPS underscore max 300, but otherwise uncapping can help you squeeze out more frames. Another useful one is dash, that's just the line, not the underscore, no vid. So this skips the intro video when you launch CS2. It doesn't affect performance whatsoever, but it gets you into the game faster which is always a win, especially if you're trying to play a certain mode like a face it game for example where you need to get into the game in time though I do recommend you launch the game before you get on queue usually. Now back to in-game commands. Another helpful one is plus cl underscore show fps1. Notice the plus sign. This version is useful if you want to put it in a config file or launch option. So you have that fps counter automatically turn on every time you start the game. You won't 
don't need to open the console manually anymore. It just shows up when CS2 launches. Here's a fun fact. CS2's FPS counter updates more rapidly than the old CSGO one. If you're testing out new configs or tweaking graphics settings, you can use CL underscore show FPS space 2 to display a slightly more detailed version. It still won't give you full net graph info, but it's a little easier to read when you're adjusting things on the fly. And speaking of testing, if you're benchmarking your performance, make sure you're doing it in a full match, not just on the main menu. The menu and loading screens aren't demanding. Always test during real gameplay. Now let's talk about the overlays. If you want more advanced stats like CPU and GPU usage, temps, frame time, any of those, you can use tools like MSI Afterburner or NVIDIA's GeForce Experience Overlay. They give you a ton of extra info, including live FPS without needing to mess with in-game commands. This is especially useful if you're trying to diagnose lag or stutters that aren't related to your internet connection. Okay, let's recap real quick. To show your FPS in CS2, enable the developer console in settings, open it with the tilde key to squiggly, type CL underscore show FPS space one and hit enter. To turn it off, type CLs underscore show FPS zero. The one being yes and zero being no are good to remember for so many things. And if you want to auto start, use the plus CL underscore show FPS one in your launch options or config. Bonus tips, use plus FPS underscore max zero to uncap the frame rate. Use dash Novit to skip the startup animation. Try CL underscore show FPS two for a slightly more detailed counter and test your FPS and real gameplay, not the main menu. So all right, that wraps it up. Now you know how to share FPS in CS2 and track performance like a pro. If you found this helpful, drop a like and subscribe for more CS2 optimization tips. Let us know under this video what kind of FPS uh, you're getting and what GPU you're using. This would be interesting to see what everyone is up to and how everyone is playing. Let's try to squeeze the most out of our setups, right? Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Good luck out there. Have fun. I wish you many frames and I wish you many ELO.